guys, welcome back! My name is Rybris, and guess what? We're gonna break some games in half today! This is Peglin, a roguelike Peggle game where you shoot a ball and the number of total pegs you hit will be the damage you do to your enemies. It's a game of strategy. Thinking five moves ahead to ensure you don't die is not unusual. But we will be playing it like that today. First in our AFK exploit, we need a good starting relic. Let's exploit this game! Alright, let's see. What is that? Hmm, that's not it. Luckily, this game is so perfect, you can just exit out and reload in. This reloads all the relics. Wow! Definitely an intended game mechanic, am I right? Yes, this one! Immune uh, attack damage while reloading. Beautiful! Now, let's get to our first Peglin battle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest Peggle underground fight you will ever see! Peglin goes into the attack, destroying multiple pegs and even getting a bomb. But this only angers the three people more. They slowly, but menacingly, get closer. With this second attack, one goes down! Now it is a day 1v1. But will the people be able to close the distance before he attacks again? I will only tell. Piglin attacks, but he's using his comrade's body as a shield. The tree manages to survive. But I'm sure this next blow will be the deciding factor in this battle. And Piglin wins an outstanding victory and even more to come, I'm sure. Okay, well we missed that, and we're now facing large amounts of scary enemies. At this point in the game, you don't need to worry too much about getting killed. That comes later on. Speaking of which... No, no, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Now, what we can do in the merchants is get them to take away an orb from us. Which is very handy. See, remove an orb for 30. This is the core of our exploit, which I'll explain later. We have to do a few things first. After a few more battles, it's time to face the boss monster. A gigantic slime. We're in a little bit of an awkward spot here, folks. Where we're inside of Slime Boy. Ah! This really hurts, you know. So do you like bombs in your belly? Well, take... This then! Oh, defeat the slime boss, end of the slime. We did it! We did it! We are now in the second area. Not a lot of changes, they just start moving beads a little more, the enemies are a little stronger, but soon that won't be a problem anymore. Now we literally only have one peg. Remove an orb! Remove all orbs. Remove all orbs. Yes! Let's face it, you wake a little later with a mysterious new Ouroboros. The... Damn it! Yeah, I couldn't have predicted this was gonna happen. I don't know. And it's time! We will become God! Now, we have no peggles. None. This is fun. Oh, wow! I only reload. Look at that. I just, I can put my hands up here, rest my chin on it, and carry on. And they can't hurt me, because while I'm reloading, I'm immune to all damage. Oh! Oh, look at that. Oh, would you look at that? There's a large amount of enemies there, and a ballista? Oh god, that ballista has 3,000 health! They're shooting at me! No! Don't do that. Oh, that's a big... Don't! Don't do it! Oh, sorry. Missed. Ooh, artifacts. That'd be really useful if I was playing a normal game, but uh, I don't need them. Actually putting a pig in my inventory right now would make me significantly weaker. 777? What even is that? At this point, I don't need to do anything. If I was even lazier, I would have run a script to click for me next and just gone and had a good nap. I mean, look at this boss. It has 10,000 health. Normal players would struggle, many would fail, but I'm an immortal god now. I can't be injured and my damage only goes up each time they attack me. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed me playing and exploiting the hell out of Peglin. Let's move on to the next game. 
Lads, welcome to Cookie Clicker, a game that actively promotes hacking and that has so many holes in its system, I will be using a few to exploit it today. Now, I could go into their code and give myself a bajillion cookies, but that's no fun, and Auto Clicker is easier. Yes, yes, yes. I'm getting so many cookies. Oh, I'm working so hard for this, definitely. <laughs> I'm going to wait 10 minutes and see how many cookies we can get. I'll be right back. On the side, if you're playing on the browser edition of this game, there's a cool little trick you can do. Type in the name of your bakery and then say, says open sesame, exactly like this. Then, this will give you access to the dev tools. From here, the basic game is in ruins. I have a bajillion cookies! That's a lot of sugar lumps. And I didn't work for it, and it was really boring. And there's nothing to really do when you've got everything in Cookie Clicker. Even all the achievements. Back to the game, there's an upgrade you can get called JavaScript. It's just like Grandma's and Factories, but with one key difference. It allows you to code in cookies. Literally code in cookies. If you don't know how to do this, just go to the website and it'll tell you what to type in properly. There are many other exploits I could show you and many other ways to break the game, but for now, let's move on to Brotato. You're a potato and just like normal potatoes, you can hold up to six weapons when you fight up hordes of enemies. Today, we'll try to break this game through farming and landmines. Cute monkey, limited to 13 range, lightning shiv. Ooh, a tree. Tree, tree, gimme. Now that there is a health boy. I didn't need it because it's too powerful, but it's pretty good. I can just stand still at this point. I bet you no damage, no damage will befall me. No damage, I'm waiting. Oh no, oh no, you're getting so close. Oh no, that looks scary, oh no. Oh no. I have to move around. These guys are trying to kill me. Ah! ah! Why did you hurt me, game? Why did you allow them to injure me? Kill 300 enemies. Beautiful. Block even more. Stick! Is the game trying to like kick me backwards? Gimme, 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 tree, 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 gimme, 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 tree, 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 tree. Tree! We roll. I have some. Oh, turret. Turret's so handy. And I got another knife so I can get a better knife. Anything else? Landmines! Alright, I'm just gonna have. Ah! Fuck! It's been three hours of playing Brotato. Let's just summarize how to do this exploit really quick for the both of our sakes. Alright, so you're going to need farms for heals, landmines and turrets for damage. You can get all of these the normal way or you can cheese the game a bit. You play through a wave and try and get crates which will give you free loot when opened. If you do not get enough for the ones you want, just exit out of the game uh, and go to the menu and then reload back in. This reloads the wave you just did and the possibilities of gaining crates from killing enemies. Keep doing this and after some waves you'll get scaled a lot stronger than you should be. Okay. And that's all for the video. Thank you all for listening, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye!